Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we have another listener request from Alex Sterling. Uh, he says, do Andre Johnson. Uh, so yeah, let's do Andre uh, uh, Johnson. Uh, and uh, he, of course, is one of those guys, um, you know, his, his career is pretty much over at this point, um, especially for wide receivers his age, which we'll get into age uh, data when it comes to wide receiver position, because I think it's very interesting to talk about uh, you know, when, when does a wide receiver start to hit that peak? When is there a downfall in terms of age uh, and production? So uh, we'll get into a little bit of that stuff with him. Um, but he's a good player to point out because he, he's been a very productive player. Um, he was uh, very athletic, uh, was a tremendous player to watch on film. If you have not seen Andre Johnson at Miami, it was ridiculous, guys. It was man amongst boys level you know like i all i could say is go watch him you know highlight films whatever um he was an amazing um athlete uh and was also a great football player uh so i mean it, it's hard to find guys like that but um he's just a guy that I, I would definitely urge anybody to go back and watch his film in miami because he was a tremendous tremendous player and people don't realize how good he was on paper, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to go over uh, what he looked like coming out of college, uh, what he looked like in terms of athleticism in college, uh, you know, coming out in terms of the combine and stuff like that. And then we're also going to get into his NFL career a little bit and then, uh, and then ultimately get into age wide receiver data because I think some people... Some people get it, some people don't get it. Some people are too quick to, to throw old wide receivers under the bus. Uh, now, for those that are familiar with the stuff that I've done, um, I would say the best thing for you to do is to either watch one of my older videos in terms of wide receiver uh, data, uh, and you can just look up any sort of wide receiver I've done in the past. You can just scroll the uploads, and I go into a lot of detail in terms of uh, the data that I use when it comes to wide receiver evaluation. If you're not and again, if you don't want to do that, I am going to leave in the description just basic terms and definitions. Um, so if you're not familiar with the terms that I'm talking about, if you're new to the channel, um, just you can just go to the description and it'll tell you pretty much the methodology involved and in, in, to how I come to these numbers, um, if you will. So uh, a lot of the stuff I'll, I kind of explain along the way. Uh, so not too many things that are kind of crazy, but I do know that things like the explosive lower body strength score, the speed score, the flexibility score, market share data are terms that, that some people just aren't familiar with. So if you're not familiar, familiar with that, go to the description. Uh, and with that out of the way, uh, let's get to Andre Johnson. So, uh, starting with his production out of college, uh, he had an 80.96 Passing yardage mark share production score uh, based on my data since the 1969 NFL draft class uh, The vast majority of five-time all-pro wide receivers hit at least 85 or higher in terms of their passing yards mark share production score uh, The vast majority of three-time all-pro players uh, hit 80 or higher, which is the threshold that Andre Johnson hit uh, Three-time Pro Bowl players hit 68 or higher and long-term starters the vast majority of long-term starters hit 58 or higher uh, when it comes to their data uh, so Andre Johnson coming out of college hit every single threshold indicative of a potential multiple all-pro uh, wide receiver, uh, a three-time all-pro wide receiver or more. And uh, again, this is really the majority, um, you know, 95% of three-time all-pro players hit 80 percent all or higher, uh, about 95% of five-time all-pro wide receivers hit 85 or higher. So there are a couple wide receivers who uh, are lower in production who still hit these sort of thresholds, but this is just where the majority of these guys ended up You know in relative terms what the average is, is what the sort of bottom and threshold for Five-time all-pro three-time all-pro is when it comes to wide receivers um, So I mean he pretty much production wise hits every single thing that you want uh, when it comes to his athleticism This is where things get good <laughs> He was a 99.7 on explosive lower body strength score guy a 99.15 speed score guy and a 98.13 uh, flexibility score guy um, and if you're wondering where i got the short shawl and uh and three cone from because uh, it's not readily available uh, i was able to get information from a scout from nfl team 
Um, I'm not really going to disclose his name or really, anything like that, but he but he said that this is what they had when they, uh, at least the flexibility, tech, like the short shot on the three cone I'm using is what they were using in that draft class when they were um, evaluating him. So um, his three cone and short shell was not public, uh, but this is, this is just something that I got from a scout that I was talking to at a event um, about a year ago. Um, but even if you want to disregard that, if you just go by his explosiveness and his speed, um, he pretty much hits every single threshold that you're looking for. I mean, he's an elite level athlete. I mean, there's no other way around it. 90 percentile plus in terms of explosiveness and speed, and also 90 percentile plus in terms of flexibility for his size. And at the wide receiver position, um, you only need a 54 score or higher. Um, the vast majority of high quality NFL wide receivers, whether you're talking about Pro Bowl wide receivers, all pro wide receivers, had at least a 54 or higher when it comes to their athleticism testing and one particular athleticism, athleticism score. Uh, and uh, the only guy who wasn't like this was Chad Johnson. Uh, he was the only player who pretty much was a below average athlete overall coming out, uh, but still went on to become, you know, a Pro Bowl wide receiver. Um, but other than him, most, the majority, everybody other than Chad Johnson, had at least one athleticism score that was 54 or higher. In Andre Johnson's case, his explosive score would have passed the test, his speed score would have passed the test, and his flexibility score would have passed the test if you want to buy the sort of data that I was able to get from uh, a former NFL scout. Um, so his data pretty much is elite. Um, he's one of those types of wide receivers based on his athleticism data that was Calvin Johnson before Calvin Johnson was Calvin Johnson. Now, Calvin Johnson is definitely better when it comes to his athleticism data, um, but Andre Johnson is pretty dang close. Um, so uh, I'm not trying to take anything away from Calvin. It's just Andre Johnson, in many ways, was one of the first sort of freak wide receiver types, uh, at least in the, uh, since 1999. He was one of those types of guys. And then when you get to his NFL production, uh, as you can see, he was a very, he was a very productive NFL player. Um, he had a couple bumps here and there. I mean, he had some injury history. I mean, some of you guys may not remember. Maybe you did. I don't know. But he's always had some bumps and rows in terms of injuries. Missed uh, a couple seasons. Uh, you know, missed a couple games in, in seasons. Missed more than a couple games in seasons. Depending on what his injury history was sort of like. But, uh, but I mean, he's had some injury sort of played years. But he has put up lots of really high-end production seasons. You know, 2006. Had a 99 plus percentile season, which basically was the best in the NFL at that time. Um, uh, 2008 had a very high end season in terms of market share production. 2012 had a very high end year in terms of production. Kind of waned a little bit after that. Uh, but Andre Johnson continues to be sort of, you know, whenever you want to talk about wide receiver uh, age and, well, this guy's just going to be Andre Johnson. You know, that like whenever people say that about a, a player, they go, well, he's so old, he ain't going to make it anymore. Um, this is actually what uh, average impact, at least this is what average uh, market share production impact is for starting, starting uh, wide receivers. Um, and... As you can clearly see on the in terms of the data uh, point, um, you know, wide receiver is one of those positions where I think it's a little overblown in terms of age. Um, there definitely is a steep drop in production. Um, I mean, base, most most wide receivers peak around 31 years old, uh, but the vast majority of them continue to be relatively productive at 32, 33, 34, 35, uh, and then they don't actually really have a, a start to show a really, you know, sort of steep decline until they reach 35, 36, and then a giant decline at 38 and then 39. Um, so for the most part, I think uh, starter wide receiver age is a bit of a misconception. I mean, yes, um, if once you get past 31 years old, you are going to start to hit a sort of decline in terms of your uh, production, you know. But it's very comparable to kind of what you were doing, you know, when you were a youngster, you know. Um, so I would say that Andre Johnson is not necessarily a case for like, like you shouldn't use Andre Johnson as a case to dismiss wide receivers at his age. Because uh, I know a lot of people are starting to do that now. That they go, oh, well, he's a 34-year-old year wide receiver, so he's just going to be like Andre Johnson. 
um, which again you have to treat players in, you know individually. Um, if a player has injuries that start to pile up at a certain age, yes, you should be concerned about that player in terms of wide receivers. But if they're not, if they're if they're if they're at that age and they're not having a ton of injuries, you know, injuries that require extensive rehab, injuries of any kind, then I don't think you should use Andre Johnson as a reason to just ignore or not. Uh, put value into a wide receiver at that age because it's pretty clear based on the data in terms of the averages since 2005 that you could still be a productive player when you're 34 years old 35 years old uh, and even when you're 36 it's just after 35 is when thing is when the wheels actually start to come off for most wide receivers who hit that sort of age range um, so that's the only thing I would really sort of end with is that Andre Johnson his career kind of ended uh you know rather abruptly uh at a younger age than usual for wide receivers uh you know just based on the data um, 35 is when most of the wide receivers start to see a gradual decline uh but his was very sort of a short sort of drop but i would say that it's a it's not normal um uh, for a wide receiver like andre johnson to have this sort of drop like this uh, for his age, uh, there, there most wide receivers at his age are able to maintain their production up until 35 years old. Andre Johnson just happens to be on an individual case basis. Andre Johnson is just a guy that wasn't able to maintain his production up to that point. Um, so that that's the only sort of thing I can say about Andre Johnson is as much as people want to continue to bandy about him, because a lot of people use this for like Brandon Marshall. They're trying to say that well, Brandon Marshall is going to decline just like Andre Johnson did, uh, which I think is kind of silly because, uh, you know, the, the, the actual averages in terms of impact, um, as you can see on the chart, which you've already seen, um, kind of flies in the face of that. So you have to treat each wide receiver as an individual case, but just keep in mind that the averages in terms of impact at aid, at, 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 in terms of starters, it's pretty clear that you can still be a very productive player up until you're 35 years old. And then after 35, that's when you usually start to see what Andre Johnson experienced uh, when he was 34 years old. Um, so, I mean, the biggest thing is to just keep track of their health, keep track of those kinds of things. But wide receivers can play at a pretty high level up until they're about 35 years old for the most part. Um, so just keep in mind in the future if you're thinking about older wide receivers and whether to, you know, draft them for fantasy football or you know, or your team, you know, takes one and free agency and stuff like that. So again, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.